Hey guys, this is Ninja Master 1209 back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you a fidget cube, a custom made fidget cube. Okay guys, so to build the fidget cube I made, what you're gonna have to do is first start okay, the pieces that we're gonna need. One little, I mean, hold on, let me get this in focus again. One little stud, I mean, I just happened to pick, I picked a random stud, but the cube, the color scheme is not perfect, but yeah, I just picked random bricks, but you're gonna need two of these that you could clip a stud on and Put that, okay, so then, um, and then you're also going to need one of the smaller ones, the smaller type of sticks. So like, this time you need a small one. So a normal sized one, newer small one. You're gonna want a small one, I mean, if you want it to be pretty good. Then, you're also going to want one of these little red red pegs or whatever color you have. One of these, like one of the black ones. Two of these where you could stick a peg in the bottom there or one of those little black ones in here. Then you're also going to want, I mean, I just, for one part, I just happen to use a little Lego claw, something that can fit in one of these and it's pretty tiny that's why i chose the little claw but then you're also going to need one of these pieces that are harder to find it's like a little kind of like bun like it's almost like a spring just it's not a spring it presses in and then comes out so one of these pieces and if you have i mean if you don't have one of those lego pieces and you have a real spring uh depending on the real spring size you might be able to use that in replace of this but i suggest if you want the one part that you have this, but you don't have to have that part. Then you're also going to want two little tires. And those tires have to be able to fit basically on, hold on, let me get this piece. You're going to have to fit those tires. Uh, one of these. So wait, you're going to need two of those pieces. Where did I put the other one is the question. Oh, there it is. I just have to get it off the one piece. <laughs> Come on, little piece. Okay, basically, you're going to need one of these pieces. Here's the other one on this. The other one's on this side, which it's spinning. You're going to need this piece, one of these like pieces for like bottom part of a plane or something. Then you're going to put those on. Put your tires together. Oh, I, might, I think I put those on wrong. Anyway, you're gonna put your tires, get your tires on to your liking. Then you've got the tire parts, so then that's kind of like one piece there. You're gonna want one of like, just a flat piece like this, circular. Then you're gonna also want one that has the plus in the middle with the studs on top. You're gonna want, Something that's decorational, kind of maybe about this size. I'm just using one of the Sensei Wu hats from Ninjago. Then we've also got one of these circular plates here with the hole in the middle. That's what you're going to want that there. You're going to want, I suggest that you have one of these, which you could see it has like all the holes in the sides. But if you need to, you can get a bunch of these pieces to make out all of the outer edges. 
but then you're also going to need other than this you're going to need two, at least two of the ones with the holes in it and then one plain colored one you're going to want another plain colored one now i would have done another black but i'm not i'm not digging through all my my thousands of legos to find another one but so i choose what i had near me <laughs> You're gonna want two of about the, of these six stud bricks. One two by four brick, generic Lego brick. If you have one of these, you could either use like a Sensei Wu hat or something, one of these back here, another one of those. But like, t I, I chose one of these here. It almost looks like a cobweb, just like you can click clips on the sides. So then you're gonna want Another, here's an uncom more uncommon. You don't need this, but to make it look cooler, you're gonna want one of these, which has that there, two pegs coming down. That's just to make it look cooler, but you don't need that. You're gonna want one of these, which has the, it's like the one of those peg things, but then it has like, you can put a stud on the top. You're going to want three bricks. Now realize how these have the lines on it. I just, chose what was near me and I chose the line ones. So I've got like normal, you just need three of like these, or like the one, one by two bricks. Doesn't matter what type. But then you're gonna need one that has this, one of them that has the studs coming out on the side. Then that is an example of, that's where I have this going. And then, the reason I have that there is because it's kind of just like something little you could play with, but I'll show you it here. You're also going to want two, two one by four flat stud pieces. So two of these, and you can you cannot replace them for one of the flat two by fours. You need to have the skinny pieces, two of those. You're gonna want one of these four by six plates doesn't matter what color. I mean, if you're going with the color scheme, go for it. I mean, if you want to do that, go for it. Beginning into the build, you're going to want to start with your little base plate here. And with the plate is you're with the plate, you're going to want to do um well, I guess I'll show you up here. Just wait, in fact, start with this piece. This is going to be easier. So you're going to put one on here, one on here. So boom, you've got these here. In fact, no, wait, 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 I feel dumb. Bottom. Bottom ones like that. You're gonna put a black here. And then you're gonna put here and here. In fact, I'm trying to remember if this goes on top here or this goes down here. Oh, uh, yeah, this is correct. Never mind. I have a... Okay, so then you're going to want to put... It doesn't matter which side. You put one of these here and one of these here. Now, um, and then the other two of these, which keep in mind, you don't have to have the line ones. That doesn't do anything to it. But then you've got this build so far. Then you're going to put for the bottom part here, you're going to want to put this the brick here. And then you can put your other two, the, the other one by twos here, and then you're gonna clip this over it. Then you've got this. Now, what you're gonna wanna do here is on any side you want. I mean, whichever side that you think is best, which what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put it on this side, back here, so then, you're gonna clip that into there, which clips nicely. Or you know how there's a middle one here. There's a middle stud there, the middle opening. You can get, you could put just one of these in, but since I have this cool piece, I'm putting this in. And then grab the stud, the little, one little stud and the Sensei Wu hat. Grab this piece and you're gonna clip these two together. Then put this centered there, then it spins there. You're going to want to use the, then on the, for the other side, you're going to want to use the pin, little red pin here, or whatever color you have. And you're going to make sure that you clip it like this, opposite like this. And then, 
depending on which one you, you're using then. But you're gonna put on this end then, you're gonna put the little black pig. Then you're going to, you're gonna have this here. And then to add a little bit of detail, you can put this here and then you can use this little one. See why I told you to try to use the little one because you don't need a big one for this part. Then you've got this and you're gonna stick that one about cent about the, this one here. And then you, this is another part that you can kind of move around, but I'll show you all the moving stuff later. Next, you're going to want to grab these, you're gonna grab these two a while and clip them together. Then you've got this piece here. On this side, you can just stick the wheels in here. This also will be another little feature on it. Then for now, what you're also gonna to wanna to do up top is whichever, wherever, whatever colors you have, you're gonna put those on each side. Now with that then, that's gonna hold these bricks here on the side in. While you do that, say like, look, I chose one of these little things, just like a little, anything you wanna put in that hole there, that's just an extra. Some of these, like you can add extra, add, there's add-on. I have room for add-ons and I might edit this a little bit, but I just, for now I have this in here and I can kind of like play with that. If I move it up here, I can kind of like, it's almost like a little scratcher, I don't know. <laughs> but here we go. And the final part will be a button. Now what you're gonna do is, now see, you can just place it on here, but it doesn't stay too well. So you see how there's that little ring there. I'm gonna try to get the, I'm gonna try to get the silver part over the tan part there, which it's sorry, it took me a little bit to get it on, but now it's kind of stretched out so I can easily, so see like I'm trying to get it over that tan part so that this stays on well. And it's failing. There we go. So now once that's on and that it's not gonna really come off easily, you're going to put this plate up on top. Ah, this came off. It's because I'm playing with it. Hold on. And that's when I just happened to realize you don't put the plate on top first, at least. Then what you're gonna know what you're gonna before you put that plate on top, you're gonna want to put this through the hole here, and then on the top of the plate, you're gonna put clip this on there, then clip this on there, and then you've got the button. So here you go, you got this. You could spin this little stick around a little bit. You can move this. You got this area here extra rooms for add-ons and stuff. This part that spins decently. You've got this part. I mean, if you just want to roll it on you or something, turn it, go in circles because of the way it moves around and everything, back and forth, all that. Roll that a little bit too, spin it. Then up here, you've got a button, which, yeah, it goes in and out decently. And if you need to repair the button or something, you can easily just apply it up to make sure that this part's still on good at the bottom or your spring's fine or, you know. So then that's basically, that's my custom little fidget box. So follow these instructions if you wanna make one. In fact, you could even just look off of lego.com or something, scan it, look for the pieces I used. Then yeah, there's room on this side for an add-on. I mean, you could probably edit some stuff up here or something. So yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this fidget cube, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.